repairing a rusted metal roof leak. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so after you've removed the bulk of the tar and caulking, you clean it with uh, now with a wire brush. I use a Milwaukee, not sponsored, a Milwaukee uh, grinder with a wire brush, and I clean it. All right, so I've removed the tar, most of the caulking, and then the next step would be, see this no, is now nice and smooth here, nice and smooth, nice and smooth, and I got this clean, I'll get a dry rag and clean it, and I'll show you the next step how to make the transition right here with but first of all I have to take care of this dip here see this dip I'm going to show you how to do take care of this dip the next step is to wipe this clean with silicon I mean with uh, lacquer thinners like I do here and you can see how the just make it nice and clean like that because you don't want any silicone or anything to pre prevent it from uh, adhering. All right, so I got it clean. My next step, and I want to show you the, the problem here. See, there's a big gap there, like a, like a channel there. And the metal has a sharp edge there. So the best thing is to fill that up, that that surface so I can do it with car this is like roof cement okay I can do it like that just to fill it up and the reason is I don't want I don't want to avoid an empty space underneath the fleece when I put the fleece down I want it to be like nice there and not a sharp edge the metal sharp edge okay now I use any any uh, roof cement. You can use roofer's choice, and I don't think it's the best. I think Carnac is better. I can use Carnac, but regardless what you use, you can use caulking or whatever. This is just to fill up that empty space there. Okay, so that's what I'm doing there. See. Once you fill that space up, it prevents the it's not an empty void underneath the mesh underneath the fleece so that's it like that see how nice that looks okay beautiful just like that so now I can do the um, my my transition with a fleece and here's what I do. I use Turbo Poly from Bergstrom. Okay. And let me show you. Very simple now. Once you got everything prepared, anybody can do this. This is not something only specialized because it's the cleaning is the most important part, the preparation. If you don't prep well, your job is as good as how, you, how much you prepped. You have to prep very well to, to make anything work. Now, I'm gonna just do it up to the, let me show you. All right. I fill this up with turbo, even that groove there. I fill it up like that. And you can see the scissors been used. It's a Milwaukee scissors. I like the Milwaukee scissors. They work very good. Um, so I do this, and I want to show you how to make this transition right here over the riser. That's really difficult for most people, and I want to show you what, it, what it's supposed to look like. So yeah, I got this riser, so you need to make sure the fleece 
sits right in the corners there. See where the corners are? You don't want it to open up in the corners like that. And then you have this riser. So you want to cut to the corner of this riser. I want to cut a slot in here. And a slot in this riser, the corner of this right, uh, side of the riser. And one cut in the top. Just like that. Okay? And look how nice this is going to work now. I put some turbo there. Right down there. Look at it. See that fold there? Okay? And I dab more turbo. Right there. And I fold this over. Just like that. See how nice that looks? That seals everything. Now, what you could do, which if you have the time, the best, the best thing to have is time. Let me show you what else you can do just to make this even better. Now, I would like to put a piece of fleece there. Let me show you. Just like that. And then dab that. That gives you the security of this will never leak. You see that? The detail. Beautiful. All right? This is a transition, but I have one more step before you can say you have a, a good transition, okay? I'll show it to you in the next next segment. So the final step for making a transition on a metal roof is this stuff, silver coating. Very, very, very important to do silver coating. Um, you got to mix it very well. It takes about five minutes to mix this little can. But once you got it mixed, you take a roller and you apply silver coating. The reason for silver coating is uh, it's for protection against ultraviolets. This is a turbo poly seal transition flashing from a rubber roof to a metal uh, stove pipe and this is already three years been sitting here and you can see how well it lasted. Now you can see the oxidation if you that's some oxidation on it. See that? And that's because of the UV. So what we do suggest is get silver coat protection and paint this so the UVs will not eat it up. And it lasts forever. Very, very nice transition. Flashing, any flashing, you can do with turbo poly seal. Let me show you another flashing. <clears throat> okay. All right, yes, another flashing. Turbo poly seal from rubber roof to chimney. No copper, no metal, just straight to the brick and rubber. And look how nice it lasts. It's faded a little bit because there's no protection on this. But it will last 10 years more. But if you coat it with silver coat protection, it will outlast anything. It's the best thing to do and the easiest thing to do, to do a flashing with turbo poly seal. All right? Super important. You can see how the aluminum will reflect and protect the turbo poly seal from ultraviolets. And that's super, super important. Look how nice that looks. It will not heat up now. It will not deteriorate. And you have a transition that will last. That was the final step. This will make the thing last maybe eight, uh, 20 years. If you keep on, you may have to apply the silver coating another five years or 10 years from now, but that's nothing. You do your silver coating and do your transition and I'll see you in the next video.